Now, since the update of Ableton 12, so there have been some problems with some people, not all, but I've gotten some messages back that when they open up the latest version here, it starts to load, that they don't see their places and collections on this side here, right? That's all this stuff here, places and collection, your library stuff. You'll have the sounds, the drums, the instruments, you have audio effects, and we'll have MIDI effects, Max Live, and plugins. Now I can hear the plugins, look at it, they're missing. Now normally I had them in the left, but they don't show up here, right? I come here to clips, right? And we got samples. So check everything that you see once you load this software. If you got a problem, what you might need to do, let me just uh, hide this. You would go here to, let's see, we're in screen mode, yeah. We're gonna go here to go. And I wanna go to the library. So I'll press option down and library will open up. Now here in, I'm in library here, I wanna go to preferences. I'll scroll down and I should see preferences here somewhere. There it is right there. And I wanna go to Ableton Live. Ableton's right there. And now here, I want to see my versions. You can see a different versions here, of course. And this is my latest version. I'm going to come to here, and I want to make sure I can see my library right here and preferences. Now, if you don't see library and preferences, you need to go to an older version where you do see a library and preferences. And you go to here, you click on that one. I'm going to click on uh, the preferences too as well. I'll take one the other, I'll copy them, and I'll put them in here. So let's come to here, I press copy. Go Command C. And then I would just take it and I'd come back to here and I just pop it in here. Do a paste the item. You replace it. Boom, it's replaced. I go to here. I got my preferences. I'll do copy, no, just, just preference, let's go back to library. I'll do copy, command C. I'll go back to live. I go to here and I'll just paste the, paste the item in here. Yeah, sure, why not replace it? And it's replaced, boom. And we're back to where we wanna be at. So now I will see everything. And that's the best way to get it done to actually get all your places and collections back into your Ableton Live software.